All right, greetings. This is Preacher John here in Boulder, Colorado. Going to be banner preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ here at Table Mesa and Broadway, Boulder, Colorado. <laughs> it's about 12 noon, a couple minutes till. I start at 12. I try to get to where I'm going to be a couple, two or three minutes early, and I try to leave a minute or two minutes after I'm supposed to leave. So I preach every day from 12 noon to 5 p.m., six days a week, except for Sundays, I preach 10 to 5, and on Fridays when I'm out of town, it's also 10 to 5. But it's 12 to 5 during the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and this is one of the busiest locations here in Boulder. I get a tremendous witness for Jesus Christ. I also took my sunglasses off so you guys can see my eyes. I thought I'd do that. But uh, it's going to be about 70 degrees here in Boulder. <clears throat> All the snow is melted. And as you can see right up here, uh, I'm actually right at the foothills. And during the winter time, the sun sets right over those hills at about 3.30. Hard to believe, 3.30 and the sun is setting. But that's later in the winter time. And right behind me, let's see, right here is the uh, bus stop with the skip and all the different buses that come in from uh, Golden. So I take also the bus to Golden. That's Highway 93, right there I'm at, Highway 93. This is Table Mesa and it turns into South Boulder Road, which goes on into Lafayette and uh, on into, turn right on 36 and goes on into Denver. <laughs> But the idea about preaching the gospel is, is letting people know that Jesus Christ is real. Being loving, being kind, being gentle. God bless you, sir. And always being respectful. I know a lot of people that I run into, not just one or two, but many. I can hardly believe how many rebuke me for saying respect. <clears throat> I mean, that just seems like a normal thing to do. Maybe it's because I'm 67 years old, I'm still old school, that you respect people. And... It just seems like millennials have, or I hate that word, but younger people, uh, there doesn't seem to be the respect uh, for mankind. You know, there's just constant hate. I was raised that you love everybody, you respect everyone, and you respect your elders. You say, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, no, sir, no, sir, no, ma'am. You respect. You open the door for women, you, as a man, you, you, you're just kind, you give up your seat for a woman if she wants to sit down. You take care of people, you take care of your grandparents. You just don't flip them off and say, well, fend for yourself. I mean, we can't do that. I mean, it's, we have to take care of people. We have to love people, we have to give to people. I give, on, I give to the poor every day. Last month, I totaled $51 of giving. To, I mean, I know I'm supposed not to tell people my giving, but it just gives you an idea. That, and that's on the street. That's only a few dollars at a time. So that's a lot of people I give to on a, uh, in some months there's a whole lot more than that. But the idea is always helping people no matter where they are. And you know, praying for people, asking them, what can I do for you? Is there anything I can do for you? Be a servant. Quit being a, a Lord over people. Jesus is the Lord over people. We're a servant of Jesus Christ. Let him be the boss. We don't need to be the boss. We need to be a servant and to lay our life down for people and to ask them, what is it that I can do for you today? Help the people, and whatever it is, do whatever you can to meet that need. Be a vessel that God can fill. Be a willing and obedient minister of Jesus Christ. Even if you're not ordained, it doesn't matter if you're ordained, it doesn't matter if you went to Bible school, it doesn't matter if you've got any formal training. If you're saved today, you're ready. Today is it. You, you, get, you start, start preaching. Today. You got saved today. You received Jesus Christ today. Then today is the day you start ministering. Not tomorrow. Not yesterday because you didn't know who Jesus was. But today, you're saved. And if you're not saved, you can do what I did. I said, Jesus... <laughs> I get choked up every time because it's such a real event for, in my life. But it's Acts 2.21, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And I just said, Jesus, I was laying in my bed by myself, Navy, Vietnam vet, in bed, uh, on my rack, you know, petty officer, U.S. Navy. Uh, just two weeks earlier, I was at battle stations and I was reading a guy's Bible, because I didn't know what the Bible said. But I read the Bible. 
Thank God it was the King James Bible. Praise God for that, since I'm a King James preacher now. Well, that's what I preach out of. But I just said, Jesus, if you're real, here I am. Man, oh man. I've not, that's been 47 years ago. That's a long time and I've not quit. It's just been an ongoing ministry. I've not quit since the day I got saved. I've not stopped preaching Jesus Christ. That's for over 30 years people are calling me Preacher John. I didn't call myself Preacher John, they did. Because that's what I do. I am known for preaching everywhere I go, any place, any time. I just, I stand for Jesus Christ. And I hope you do too, sir. This is John Shuck signing off from Table Mesa and Broadway, Boulder, Colorado. Cheers.